Hello cousins, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Big Mama Cooks and I have an Instagram page where I post recipes all the time at Big Mama Cooks underscore. Today's video is washing and storing rice. This is a must watch for all new cooks. With easy steps and tips that are gonna help you in the long run, we're gonna get right to it. I buy the 20 pound bag of rice. The 20 pound bag of rice lasts me about a month and a half to two months. There are three people in my household and I cook very frequently. I store my rice in a large container that I usually buy at the large discount stores like those big 99 cent stores or Walmart, any large super center slash discount store. I wash my bin really well and I let it air dry. If I don't let it air dry, I run the risk of the rice getting stuck to the sides, developing moths, any kind of weird things that live in rice can happen. I'm going to get into that. The same applies for the lid. I wash it really well and I also let it air dry. Once the bin and the lid have air dried, I'm going to cut a corner of the 20 pound bag, just a corner, and I'm going to pour it into the bin. The bin is large enough that it holds the entire 20 pound bag of rice. I use an old bean can as my measuring tool to measure out rice every time I need it. It lives inside of my rice bin. Yes, it does. One can of beans equals two cups of rice. And for easy access, my rice bin lives in the same cabinet where my pots and pans live. Now, on to washing rice. I feel that adding the rice you're gonna use to cook onto a strainer and washing it and cleaning it in the same strainer is time effective and pretty smart because you can add it directly to the pot. I start off by running it under cold water multiple times. I know many people advise not to rinse your rice, but I need to clean my rice. I'm really gonna explain why. Aside from being able to pick out any grain that has any deformity, any color deformity, um, any burned grains of rice, any little rocks, because sometimes there are rocks in the rice, have you ever heard your grandmother or someone in your family say, hay que lavar bien el arroz, porque alguna vez uno encuentra uno pajarito en el arroz. I never really thought about that. I always did what I was told when it came to rice. You wash your rice really well, you pick out the things that don't belong, and then you cook your rice until it happened to me. Lo pajarito appeared in my rice. I was opening a brand new bag of rice and pouring it into my rice bin as normal, and I realized there were moths. Yes, moths, the tiny little flying insects that eat your clothes flying out of the rice. After further inspection, I also realized there was larvae in my rice. Cousin, I lost my ish. So I did what anyone in my situation would have done. I marched right on down to the supermarket to demand why were there moths and larvae in my rice bag, AKA pajaritos. But before I walked into the supermarket, I decided to Google moths in my rice bag. And I was surprised to discover that moths in your rice bag are a common occurrence. Why? Because the rice environment is the perfect environment for moths to thrive in. So after speaking to the manager and getting a new bag of rice, he also explained to me that this isn't the supermarket's fault because they don't bag the rice, but these things happen all the time and they gladly switch out the bag of rice. So all this time I thought the women in my family were just making up stories about pajaritos en el arroz. Turns out that pajaritos en el arroz is really a thing and this is why we have to wash, double wash, and triple rinse our rice before using it because we don't want pajaritos en el arroz. If just rinsing your rice with water and picking through it with your fingers isn't enough for you, you can go ahead and take an extra precautionary step of adding one cap of vinegar and rinsing it through thoroughly. And there you have it, washed and cleaned rice ready for cooking. I hope the video, the story, and the steps helps a cousin out when it comes to washing rice and storing rice. This has not happened to me again, but I'm really glad I was able to share the story with you guys and hopefully help someone out. Now we know when family gives us advice, it's not all ill intended. Sometimes they have really good reason why they tell us these things. See you next time, cousins.